I'm a mom of two, so I've got some experience to share about uh, baby essentials. My older daughter is almost four and my younger daughter is almost two years old. So I had some time to figure all things out, what is essential, what I really need, what I really use. With my second baby, obviously, it was a little easier because I already knew what I really gonna use and I was not um, that, I would say, like perfectionist anymore. With the first baby, you're getting your first emotions and everything is very new to you. There are so many things out there and um, but truly the baby doesn't need that much so I will try to do my best to stick to the point as there are a lot of things to discuss and I will try to share the best of the best that I found for the last four years of our life as I'm trying to do my best to avoid plastic in all domains in our life the first thing that came into my mind were diapers when I learned that a diaper takes up to 500 years to decompose, that was very shocking for me. So I went online looking for different options. First, I bought reusable diapers. Unfortunately, they didn't work out for us. So I found this amazing brand that is called Diaper, just with a Y. Their diapers are biodegradable and they're very simple and super soft and my baby never had a rush with these diapers. They also have diaper wipes that are also biodegradable. I would say that I hardly ever use wipes just because when we are at home I usually just use tap water and um, muslin blankets so I really don't see the point of using wipes at home personally but of course when we go out and about um, I would use diaper wipes personally for me with my first baby it was very important to get everything new brand new but with my second baby I realized that I'm gonna use most of the products for a very short period of time i'm gonna probably overpay that i would pay for something uh, that is already pre-loved so with my second baby everything we used was second hand so for example with my second baby i got baby bjorn bouncer that's the thing that they recommended to all of my friends instead of all the swings and different bouncers and anything else that there is out there on the market believe me this baby bjorn bouncer is the best thing in the world the first thing because um, I like the design, it's very simple, very cute, different colors, it's out of natural materials which is also great. The second very important thing, it's very portable and lightweight so you can carry around your house, you can cook uh, while the baby is bouncing next to you, you can go even for a walk and take this bouncer. So many times we found ourselves in the middle of the forest with this bouncer and it was it was great or sometimes you know when you go to visit your friends and you don't want to be like carrying around the baby the whole time so I just used to bring my bouncer with me and the baby was very happy in that bouncer so this is the only one really like a baby gadget that we've got that I really enjoyed and used with my second baby with my first baby we we tried so many swings, we had so many different experiences and in the end we never really um, used any of those. I really encourage you to go and look for secondhand items just because it's gonna save you so much money. So for example this Baby Bjorn bouncer, if I'm not mistaken, the bouncer itself costs around two, three hundred dollars. They say it's up to 24 months but Really, I would say that the baby would use up to the baby's crawling. You know, everybody's different, so six, nine months. So when I was looking for a baby Bjorn bouncer, I found it for just $100 on Facebook market. I bought it, we used it for six months, I think, and then I resold it for and the same hundred dollars it's kind of like you are reinvesting your money into next stage of the baby because the babies they change so much especially their first i would say a year two years they they change so much so it's really hard and it's very pricey to, to buy everything brand new 
Another really helpful thing that I found and I've been using with both of my daughters. I actually bought it for my for my older one, but then um, she outgrew and the second baby was born, so she was using it for a very long time. This is an amazing sleeping bag that I've ever found. It's actually brand new, you see, I have a tag on. The ones that I had, I already resold on Poshmark and I sold it so fast meaning that people really love this product so this one I have brand new because um, stay tuned we're gonna have a giveaway on my Instagram page I will let you know about that um, in a minute so the outer is a 100% organic cotton then the lining is a hundred percent merino wool so it's very soft it has beautiful design and what i love about this that it is from two to 24 months so you are going to use it for a long time and i've been using it for four years because with my first baby and with the second so almost four years i've been using this sleeping bag and believe me nothing has changed it didn't change in any point so the quality of this as well as the functioning of this item is great that's why i reached out myself to Wolino to invite them to my giveaway on my instagram page because i really really love this product and deeply from the bottom of my heart i recommend this product for you because you won't regret it Another thing that I already mentioned is muslin blankets. I really love them. I had just three of them and it was enough. I used these blankets as a cover on their stroller and the car seat uh, to cover myself while I was breastfeeding. Um, I used it to wipe them down. I used them as towels, you name it. Like I use it for everything as a burping cloth, everything just three muslin blankets will save you in a lot of situation diaper bags diaper bag is something that a lot of new moms are going crazy about i was one of those uh, moms when i just got my first baby but then with a the second baby i'm just using my backpack you don't really need to have a special bag for your diapers believe me you just put in a backpack if you have one if you don't obviously you might get one um but it doesn't really necessarily has to be the with a tag of diaper bag could be just a backpack fitting is the thing that i think most of the time gets to be very plastic one and very um uh, not minimalistic at all so the most sustainable thing you can do that is actually very good for your baby too I think it's no wonder for anyone it's breastfeeding so I've never given a bottle to my babies they don't even know how to suck on the bottle they have no idea what the bottle is for the baby and I know that everybody's situation is very different so my um, breast supply is not the, the same as other women so the only one thing i wanted to mention here first thing i would encourage you to do your best to try to look for different ways to succeed in breastfeeding there is this amazing app that i found that is called parent good where you can find so many different um, experts according the challenge you are facing at the current moment and you just reach out online to those experts you can read about them and you consult the actual expert so as it's the concern about sleeping or maybe breastfeeding or you name it there are so many things that you even think you have experience and you know how to act out but sometimes we don't so it's very handy to have those experts in your pocket. One of the experts that they have is lactation consultant. Please consult the expert because I'm sure you're not gonna regret it because breastfeeding saves so much money, so much energy, so much plastic from this world. Um, it's truly win-win situation for everyone if you are breastfeeding your baby. So when your baby getting into the stage for solids, 
Um, I found that here in the US, a lot of parents uh, usually buy their food rather than they cook from scratch. Uh, my background is Russian, so we cook from scratch most of the time. We don't even consider cooking and buying pre-cooked food um, somewhere. So this is what I'm used to. I understand that this culture is very different and I totally get it. Um, so I have this amazing book that I was recommended by a friend. It's called The Big Book of Organic Baby Food. I really enjoyed it. Um, they have this um, really nice idea about cooking for the baby. I'm not gonna explain it in details, but this book is part of our giveaway. So I really like it. It has so many different recipes, very healthy, very simple, and a lot of really good tips on how to start um, uh, finger foods and like baby foods. Another thing to avoid plastic while uh, feeding your baby that I found really, really eco saver is this squeezy. So this squeezy is basically uh, a silicone pouch. You make a smoothie or you make an oatmeal or like any baby food and you put it inside and then um, you just put the top <laughs> and then you give it to your baby. Um, my babies love it, my kids, my, my daughter, she's almost four and it's just, I don't know, it's just exciting for them to eat from this thing and I like it when I, we go, for example, hiking, I always have it with me with the food just in case you know, we are not on time in a restaurant or the food takes too long and maybe they get hungry in the car. So it's mess free and uh, it's very easy to clean that I really love about. So it really has just three parts, the bottle, this little filter inside and then the cap. So very easy, you can put it in a dishwasher and you save so much plastic and another thing you know what food is in the baby pouch that you really don't when you're buying the food from the store so squeezy i love you okay as for stroller i think stroller is one of the things that people spend most of their time uh, searching for i just have one stroller for two kids and that's it and uh, this stroller I would recommend to you, it is called Baby Zen Yo-Yo Stroller. That stroller is amazing, it's very compact, you can even take it to the plane with you. It folds down very easy and you can put it in the back of your car and it doesn't it saves you so much space especially if you live in a small apartment like us in new york city i can talk about that stroller for hours just because i love it i bought that stroller also secondhand because i think the new one cost you about 550 if i'm not mistaken i got the second hand on ebay from a russian girl four years ago i mean three and a half i think three and a half years ago um, I bought it for like 250 so I saved a lot of money it's still going very smooth we had zero problem with the stroller I just changed the color pack as the previous color pack was kind of faded already and I just wanted a different color another baby item that I found very wasteful and I had so many and I felt so bad that they all went to the landfill but i feel like it's not my fault i was really trying to do my best to find the right option is baby bottle water bottle so this one uh is going to participate also in our giveaway it's from clean canteen we all know this brand it's amazing it's very good quality and this is a sippy cup so it's a small size so the baby can drink the water on his own the clean canteen i do trust them they are one of the best and i do recommend them to kind of sum everything up i would say try to look for secondhand items as you're going to save lots of money and you're gonna help the environment just to keep this circle running look for the ways to invest into good quality pieces even when we're talking about kids for example like a stroller is worth to invest as you go in to use it for a very long period of time don't forget that the baby doesn't need money as 
for a giveaway on my Instagram page I'm uh, running giveaway I'm inviting you to participate I will leave the link down below and I wish you all the luck of the world thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope it was inspiring helpful useful motivational and um, don't forget please to subscribe to live and wear neat and I will see you in the next videos bye